Hello and welcome to another episode of Mole Reacts. My name is KS Mole and today we are watching the Division Heartland, the, the Division Heartland cinematic intro plus the developer deep dive. I'm a huge Division fan. I have been playing the Division 1 since the beta and yes, I have, I have played the first one in the state when it came, came out. I still enjoyed it for what it was. Um, the Division 2... <sighs> Here's the thing with The Division. Personal opinion, I think they focused on the wrong things in The Division 2. And I'm hoping that with The Division Heartland, they are focusing a little bit more on the survival aspect they kind of hinted at in the first one. And then, of course, there was the survival DLC, which was just amazing. And I think everyone laughed. And Ubisoft just forgot about it. That's a bit weird. However... Um, let's see what they have to tell us about Heartland. Uh, quick note, if you enjoy my commentary and my thoughts, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It would help me out a great deal. It's a really quick process. You just have to click on the subscribe button down below the video. And with that said, let's watch the cinematic first. Welcome to Silver Creek, a Ooh. sweet little town in middle America. You know the kind. Pumpkin patches, apple pies, and lots of weapons and guns. You'll ever have. Silver Creek was perfect up until it wasn't. The green poison changed everything for everyone. Yeah. It started in New York on Black Friday. Yes, it did. Shopping day of the year. They called it the dollar flu because it spread on money. The virus knew no boundaries. No matter where it hit, the bodies piled up. I'm playing uh, World of Conflict right now, which is also from the same developer. They hate New York. They really hate New York, man. I left Boston and came to Silver Creek looking for Killian Tower, my commander. Well, he was my commander until recently. For reasons unknown, he disavowed the division and is now a rogue agent. Killian betrayed my team and murdered them. He it is them all about revenge. Head. No clues, no motive. Only a bloody trail for me to follow. I really want to see more of the rogue story a that little bit. trail has led me to Silver Creek. I wasn't prepared for what I found. I wanted answers, but all I got was more questions. Why is the virus different here? Why did Killian murder the team he proudly commanded? Zombies? And why is he amassing an army of reapers in Silver Creek? Everything I've seen tells me that Silver Creek's at the heart of something big. Huh. I can't do this alone, Agent. I All right. need your help. Well, that was anticlimactic, not gonna lie. Let's watch... Hey everyone, the developer we're so deep excited dive. to show you Heartland, an all-new standalone adventure in the Division universe. The teams poured the so this is not the Division 3. We can't wait to share it with you. Welcome to Silver Creek. This is also from... No, Massive is working on the Star Wars game, so this is a new studio, isn't it? Shooter, set in the Division universe that features streamlined survival gameplay and a beautiful new world to explore. Survival. PvEVP gameplay. In Heartland, you so play escape from Taco? Agent, given the task of protecting Silver Creek, a small town in Middle America. It's your job to keep the town safe from enemy factions, rogue agents, and a deadly contamination. Huh. Heartland explores what happened to small town America when the green poison was unleashed on the world. While major metropolitan centers got aid from agencies like Sarah in The Division, what help did the Heartland get? This game ties directly into the timeline and introduces all new characters and storylines to the franchise. Okay. I'm Keith Evans. Oh, it's Redstorm. Heartland at Redstorm Entertainment. Oh. Hi, I'm Taylor Epperly. I'm the associate game director on Heartland. I'm really excited for folks to see what the world of the division you know, looks like in small towns. The people America. who made amazing Rainbow Six Hi, games back Bland, in the day. Community developer on and it's now and just I a wait for support our studio. All the hard work and dedication the team has put in. <sighs> this side. A year in close tests, building on the experience, responding to the feedback we received, and have evolved towards a truly unique and exciting take on survival PVEVP gameplay. PVEVPP. PP. Heartland launches with a robust experience for players on day one. 
The player's first task is to help Mackenzie Reed get Silver Creek's base of operations back up and running. Players will be tasked with completing a set of missions and projects, all focused on the goals of exploring the town and gathering the supplies necessary to help prepare the base of operations. Every mission completed gives players the tools and strength necessary to survive. Ye is a yeah, we will see about that. Deadly contamination, they promised the same thing for the first one. Of sickness and dehydration. Players will have to be oh, if they so you now have to gather food and water. As day turns to night, Silver Creek is sent into high alert. The survival threat increases and dangerous PvEVP from rogue players and AI is introduced. Night is a deadly sandbox filled with unexpected threats, but huh. there is that constant carrot of great rewards. That's interesting. I mean, this might be the players progress, they unlock the vision everyone wanted. Of three active classes. Every class brings something unique to the table, from the survivalist ability to highlight loot behind walls, to the weapons expert ability to craft huh. and deploy an assault turret. Combining these classes in a squad helps you overcome Silver Creek's toughest challenges. Where one teammate might be falling behind, you really want to make sure that you're picking up that weight. I wonder if Talking you can do PvP as a, true a unit day. Is the best way to make sure you're successful in Silver Creek. Heartland features a deadly and unpredictable contamination that makes. I bet it's not required, but boost unique. sets. To help you in your nah. journey, you'll be able to fabricate supplies, Probably. prepare your go back for each new day, making sure you can achieve even the toughest goals. The contamination shapes the areas of the map that are easily accessible, and using a filter protects agents from the contamination, but the filter depletes pretty quickly inside the contaminated areas. So, depending on how many filters you have on, huh. you, you might decide to head into a contaminated area and get some loot that other folks passed up. That's interesting. There's also the ever-present threat of dehydration. Dehydration can slow you down, so you really have to keep an eye out for fresh, non-contaminated water when you're out in Silver Creek. That so water is not fresh or not You're going to want to set yourself up for success out there. But if you do find yourself a little underprepared, hopefully you have a teammate that'll let you crawl inside their backpack. Who knows? Maybe they have juice boxes in there. Nah. Yeah, I want Silver more information on that. Using the rocket rink and abandoned roller skating rink as their base of operations. For I want more information on the survival part. The entire base of operations is a shared space. You can socialize, oh. form a group, customize your character, and prep for your next operation. And show Each off your skins you bought for real money. We'll be talking to Carmelita, Kevin, and Mackenzie quite often. Each time mm -hmm. players exfiltrate back to their base of operations, they take the materials and gear they've collected and store it in their personal armory to help them prepare for future days in the town. So wait, you can you can lose your equipment? When you're going up against rogue agents, you kind of get into a bit of a cat or mouse situation. For me, I'm definitely more of a mouse. You don't have to worry about rogue agents if they can't see you. There's a couple different strategies you can use against rogue players. I love using Heartland's class skills to set up ambushes, coordinating with my teammates to make sure we're repairing oh, armor as needed. Oh, that was a medium weapon. Done, I love looking through their loot and taking all the good stuff. Oh, so it is like Tarkov. Heartland will be a living game. The stories we tell on day one are just the beginning. We can't wait for players to die. Live service game. We're thrilled to take the next step as we enter our testing phase. Our community team will be looking at feedback I... shared across social channels and on our official forums while we evolve our game together with our community, shaping the long term part. I like experience. the idea. The team is committed to creating the best possible experience for our players. Because the community is invaluable that's what people wanted out of the Division I. Really think we've created and that the they wanted in Division I. Recognize, while also innovating with open world operations, dynamic contamination. The team here at Red Storm is proud and feel we're really onto something. Heartland feels fresh and distinct while still feeling at home alongside the other. I have still a lot of questions though. Thank you for taking this journey with us. We can't wait to have you join us in Silver Creek. And when is that? Oh, for the close beta. Well, we would definitely do that. So, a quick a quick recap here. So, I think one of the things like this sounded all very interesting from somebody who has been there since the Division 1 and who really, really loved the survival DLC the Division 1 had because they they promised similar things when they first showcased the Division 1, right? Let's, let's not forget that. There was this idea of you were in an open world New York, you have like this PvE fights, you need to survive, you need food, you need water, um, 
like cold is an issue and they could be the potential of you just meeting some rogue agents which will screw you up right like they they definitely gave this first idea of an escape from Tarkov when escape from Tarkov wasn't really a thing well at least they gave you the premise of it it's this we have never said that this is what we are doing Right? It's one of those moments where they clearly did that. So, like, oh, we, have, we have never said we will actually do that. It's now just a looter shooter. But they gave you the sort of... They were hinting at it. They were notching you into the direction to believe that. Or plausible deniability, basically. <laughs> and so, when I'm hearing all of this, I'm getting excited. Because this is what a lot of people wanted from the get-go from the division they didn't want to get another destiny another warframe another borderlands people wanted to get something unique because the setting really had something unique the same goes with what they showed just here with the uh, filters right where they were like yeah you need a filter to go into contaminated zones in new york and you have to get like the right filters and it's it's a race against time and in reality, it was nothing like that. Like, you you were literally just going into a zone where you could find some loot and some story parts. There was no fighting. There was nothing interesting going on. And the filter you had, like, if you, if you just had a higher filter than needed for the zone, you had unlimited time and nothing nothing depleted. And even, even if your filter was slowly depleting sometimes, it was really just to find the loot quickly and then get the hell out of there again not really what he, what any of the people would have expected right so uh, this could be really cool but i have to see it in action i'm i'm unfortunately now at the point where i just don't trust them and I know this is not Massive Entertainment who is making this game. This is Red Storm. But still, it's Ubisoft. And, and Ubisoft has to show me that they indeed like do what they do, right? Like with all the survival aspects, um, now you can go through the loot. I'm also interested, they made it sound like as if the day is relatively safe. And the night is where things are getting tough. Again, I want to play this. Because this could be exactly what people were asking for for years at this point. Which would be amazing. So, uh, we'll definitely check out the beta. I will see if I can get uh, some access as quickly as possible. And we will see when the first beta is happening. And then we will check it out on my main channel over at Chaos Mall here at YouTube. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, please don't forget to like and to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my other channels here on YouTube, like my main channel where we recorded this, which is at Chaos Mall. And then you will find the links in the video description. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.